Do you want to run Google Chrome OS with full support of Play Store from a USB drive? Yes, you can do that. In this video tutorial, I'll tell you how you can run your Google Chrome OS on your Windows computer from a USB drive. So let's dive into it. First, you have to download the necessary files. I'll share the link in the description from where you can uh, download it. Just open your browser. You have to go to the cross.tech website. Now from here, download the Chrome OS recovery file that matches your CPU architecture. For Intel processor, you have to use the Shavana. That is for 8th and 9th gen. And for 10th gen, you can use Jinlong. And for 11th gen and above, you can use Voxel. And if you are using the AMD Ryzen processors, then you can go for Gumbox. Just go and look for which generation is your CPU. Just go and search for system information. My processor is 11th gen processor. So I am going to download Voxel. Download the latest stable build that is that is 130 right now. Just wait for the download to complete. While this is getting download, just go to the branch GitHub repository file from where you have to download the branch repository. Just go to this link. The branch framework will allow you to install the Chrome OS on a non Chromebook device. Just look for the latest. Now from here, just download. This branch stable. Now, once the download is completed, extract both files. Extract both. Now, create a new folder and name it as. Chrome OS. Now copy the files inside both folders into the Chrome OS folder which you have created recently. Now rename this recovery file name to Chrome OS. So the Chrome OS and the branch system is designed to work on Linux. So you have to set up uh, the Linux environment on your Windows PC. For that you have to enable the Windows subsystem for uh, Linux. The best way to enable it is from Windows feature system. For that just go and uh, look for Windows features. Just open it. Here you will see a feature named Windows subsystem for Linux. Just make sure that you enable it and click on OK. After that, restart your computer to make the changes effect. Now the next thing you have to do is to install a Linux distribution from the Microsoft Store. Just go to the Microsoft Store. I am using Ubuntu here. You have some other distribution which you can use just install it now once the installation is complete just open ubuntu you will see a command line window open it will take few minutes to complete the installation process. Just wait. Now you will be asked to create a Unix username and password. Now the setup is complete and you have a Linux environment ready to go. Now next thing you have to do is to enter this command to get the package updated. I'll share the commands in the description. You can copy it from there. Hmm. 
now the next step is to create the disk image file for Chrome OS. For that, you have to navigate to the location from where you have download the Chrome OS installation file. That is this location. Avoid column. Now you are inside that folder. Now execute this command line. I'll share this in the description. You can take it from there. I started creating the image file for Chrome OS. Now after the image file has been created, just click on enter and finish the process. Now the image file for creating the Chrome OS is automatically created in this folder. The image file is being created right now. Now you can close down this window. And now the next part is to create the bootable USB for Chrome OS. Now for creating a bootable USB, you have to use a application named Ruffs. Just go to this link and download the latest. Now just open it. Once the USB is plugged in, it will be automatically detected here. Now you have to select the ISO file, that is the image file which you have already created. Just go to the Chrome OS location for where the image is created then select the Chrome OS image. Click on open. All the file settings will be automatically detected here. After that, just click on start. Now once the USB drive is ready, it's time to boot it and load the Chrome OS. For that, you have to boot your computer in BIOS. For booting in BIOS, you have to restart your computer and uh, press F12. The key might be different from uh, system to system or laptop to laptop. Just keep on pressing the function key to boot into the BIOS. So I am restarting and booting in my BIOS. Now it is booted into the BIOS. Now here you have to make sure that you disable the secure boot. Otherwise it will directly take you to the windows. The BIOS will be different from system to system or from laptop to laptop. This is Dell laptop and the BIOS is updated one. So uh, you have to go to, once you are inside the BIOS, you have to go to the boot configuration. So I'm just disabling the Windows boot and uh, the hard disk. I'm just leaving only the USB drive. And also please make sure that you just disable the secure boot. If the secure boot is enabled, the, win the BIOS won't allow you to start third-party USB device for booting. And then click on Apply Changes. And exit. Now it will reboot. Yes. I can see that it is loading the branch framework of Chrome OS. Now you can see that uh, the Chromebook has uh, started. The Chrome OS is now started. Now you can go through the setup and complete the process.
cool now you can see that the chrome os has been started so now you can use this usb to connect it to any computer or laptop and use the chrome os so hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching please subscribe like and share thank you